What's going on, guys? Good morning, the 11th of November. Early in the morning here, just about 5 a.m. on the East Coast, we are looking at Casper Tether, USD T, daily chart tradingview.com. Looking at one of your favorite projects here, Casper. Um, Casper found some support yesterday on a couple different levels. And today we have a higher low on the candle. Both of those are good things. So going to share a couple things here. I see on the chart um, some upper targets on the chart as well. And uh, wrap this thing up here. Appreciate all the new subs. Thank you to everybody who joins the channel here. Spends the time out of their day to watch these videos. So we are going to look. Let me get my tool here on the chart, my arrow. So from top to bottom here, which was that we have this high here. Let's see here. So from this point, from the top to this recent pullback, which was yesterday, 44% move down. Now this has a wedge pattern down. So just like we had this wedge here, which was the cup part of the cup with handle. This is not quite the same, but pretty similar. This giant wedge down. And if you drew a trend line on that, if I can find one here, it's not going to be perfect by any means. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> but you could... um basically look for a break above this trend line at some point point, and that would indicate a uh, probably a pretty strong rally to come here for Casper. So that's good. Today's higher low is also good. Let me show you that on the chart. Get rid of this a little bit here. So it would be really good to see the low of the 10th hold and today um, obviously, the low is much higher than yesterday's low, so that is good. Depending on what the market does today and over the weekend, we could start to see that momentum move higher. We'll see what Bitcoin does as well as the stock market. Um, but yeah, we could start to see something like that. Probably recommend going ahead and zooming in on your chart, drawing that trend line, and looking for a break above that. So... So that's that we do have and you can see actually before I jump forward that when we get these breaks, this one, two, th this three day break here out of this, um, the handle part of the cup with handle, I mean, it moved. Let's see here, top to bottom to top, it was a 50, 56% or so percent uh, move there in three days. So this thing really gets going when they break out of those patterns. We do have an upper target, a new target up here at 0672, way up in here. And, uh, you know, we, we've had a couple other ones in there, the 562, the 628, and then even above uh, today's new level, we have a 727 up in there. So I, from where we are currently at to that price level would be 86 or so percent move higher. So there is some important levels way above the market here for Casper. Getting back to some recent levels is Casper is finding some resistance at the 363 level. So right here on our chart is 0 0.0363 that is current resistance as you can tell it's resistance today and it was also resistance yesterday and if i go to a smaller time frame you can see how um, more of a zoomed in look at how that level is coming into play here so this is a three minute chart for casper slash Tether USD. And this big wick above our 0 0.0363 level 
is resistance. And then we had it once again over here, tried to get back above, got pushed below that level. Once again, tried, got pushed back below, back below. And then just recently, we basically hit it on the nose right there and it got pushed back down. So eventually it will break above that level, just like it breaks above levels. So our 3334 three, level, you can see the price broke above, came back, and then eventually blasted out through it onto our next level. But currently that is resistance, and at, a, at some point it will turn into support as the price breaks out and moves higher. So that's what I'm looking for. Um, it should all start with a break above the 363 level, unless we obviously head lower, then it'll be another level. But where we're currently at, it's 0363. And then that takes you up to the 415 level, which is right here on the chart, 0415. And then I have all a bunch of other levels um, in between. But like I said, the new level is up there at 0 0.0672. And um, if you put these levels on your chart and watch the price react around them, that's something I would recommend if you like to like to watch the chart, like to watch the price um, trade anyways. So go ahead and um, draw that trend line on this and wait for price to start to break above that. And then keep your eye on the levels. The current level right now is 363 and then 415, 435 are all above the market. And then like I said, we have the new level up there at 0 0.0672. Yesterday was an incredible day over on the stock market side of the markets. Very, very big day for the S&P futures. I saw them at one point up 217. I think they actually were higher than that. Um, that's incredible. It was an incredible day for Soxel, which we've been talking about for a little bit here, mainly on the other channel. I had a 30% up day yesterday as well. Um, I don't know where Bitcoin was up for the day. I didn't even look at it, but it was definitely up higher. XRP was up. At one point, at least 20%, um, and then moved a little bit higher overnight, kind of flat right now. Casper yesterday was um, up 2.3% after being down quite a bit. We found support down here at the one of our levels at 310, so 0 0.0310, which is good. And then we actually closed above the 334, which is also good. And like I said, this whole this whole lower part of the cup pattern, there was a lot of resistance at that 310 level. So once we broke out, we back tested that yesterday. And then that is officially support. And then also is 334. So all right, guys, thanks for watching. Of course, not financial advice. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And uh, yeah, we're, we're just going to watch 363. And then uh, if this thing starts to move higher, uh, 415, 435. And we will also be drawing a descending uh, trend line here on this wedge pattern and looking for the price to break out above it. We also did that on this part of the uh, handle as well. And it rocketed higher. So going to wrap it up. Have a great Friday. We will see you guys in the next video and look forward to answering your comments. Have a great day. Take it easy.